So you may have just picked up your ASUS Rogue Ally, and you might be trying to figure out how you can go through and set it up. So I'll show you exactly how to go ahead and do that. Number one, when you first boot it up, you'll come into your Windows 11 setup. So you can go through and you can choose whichever type of country you're originally from, and you're going to go through and just set it up that way. So if you've ever used standard Windows 11 type of setup, it's essentially the same type of capability. You get to next choose your keyboard, most of the time you can just click on yes and you can go through and just kind of keep going. So you could just keep clicking this bottom button right here as long as everything looks good and kind of go down that direction. Now next up you get to connect to your Wi-Fi. So go through, connect to your Wi-Fi connection, the keyboard will pop up and then you can go and type in your password. After typing in your password, it's going to go and verify everything and then you can go through and click on next. After connecting to Wi-Fi, it's going to go and start checking for updates and this can take a little bit of time, so keep that in mind. But typically, it might just go through and it may just take a second or two. So it really just depends if there are updates available. And then you can go through and update your system after that. Now, I would recommend keeping this thing plugged in during this duration as well. Because, you know, these things suck up a lot of power. And Windows can be a pretty heavy operating system too. So just kind of keep that in mind. After it goes through and restarts, you'll come into this page. And you can read through the designated readings. And then you can go through and click on accept. Now, after clicking on accept, it's going to say, you know, let's name your device. You can name it whatever you want to. In this case, I'm just going to click on skip. Usually I just click, click on skip because it allows me to kind of go through the fastest way. After it's going to do that, it's going to unlock your free PC essentials. If you want to, you can go ahead and sign in. So go through, click on sign in if you want to. I don't even know if there's a way to not sign in. There should be a way. So you can do learn more, I think, at the very bottom. And then after signing in, it's going to tell you if you want to restore from a backup or anything. In this case, I'm going to set up as a new PC and then click on next. But if you have a backup, you can come in from a backup as well. In this case, it's going to ask for your fingerprint. I'm going to click skip for now because I don't want to set up my fingerprint. But if you want to, you can. You can also create a pin. I think you are required to make a pin. So in this case, I will make a very basic pin. One, two, three, four. Let's see if it allows me to do it. One, two, three, four. And let's go and see if it allows me to actually create that type of pin. Hopefully it does because I don't feel like changing it. So in this case, I will do something else. I will do, you know, let's do one, two, one, two. Let's just see whichever one it allows me to you know, make. Okay, so that one it allowed me to do. So now once I'm done with this, it should go through and give me my other privacy options right here. I can click on accept. I can support, you know, this thing. I can go and make my account. I'll go and click on next, support and protection. I will just keep clicking on next and next until the setup is complete. So now it allows me to customize my experience. You can go through here and customize your experience whichever way you want to. In this case, once again, I will go ahead and click on skip. And then we'll come into this page where you can use your phone from your PC. In this case, I will click on skip. But if you want to, you can go and set that up. And as we're going through, you'll start to see some similar things. And then we're almost done. Back up your you know, device if you want to. In this case, again, I can click skip. And you can always have access to your record browsing data. So I'll go and click on skip, not now or whatever. Usually I click on skip or not now because it's the fastest way of kind of going through. You're in, you've landed a free trial. Okay, I will decline it. I will decline it and I'll click on next. But if you want to, you can go and enable it if you want to, if you really want to use it here. And then we can click skip for now. This is the longest setup in the world. I don't know why it takes this long to get through it, but we're almost done. <laughs> now at the very end, hopefully we're almost done. We can then get into our Rogue Ally and then we can use it as a gaming PC or whatever else we want to do with it. But in this case, we're almost done with it. It's going to take a little bit more time and then it just went through and now we are good to go. So let's go and click on, you know, now we have to wait for this update to come through and then after the update, we should be good to go, and then we can go through and use our Rogue Ally. So let's come back when it's done. And then after the updates, we finally get into it. It took so long. But after the update, what you can do is basically swipe up, and you can sign in with that pin that you basically made before. So I'll go and sign in. After typing in the pin, you can see it's going to go through the initial setup. Not the initial setup, but it's going to go through the normal type of Windows screening. It's going to get everything ready for you. And then after a few minutes, your PC will then be ready to use and your Asus Rogue Ally will then be good to go and you can use it in this particular fashion. So 
I know it's a very long process to get it set up, but now you are, you know, you have gone through the initial setup of your rogue ally and now you're ready to use it. So I'll be making a follow-up video on exactly how to use your, you know, rogue ally after setting it up, the buttons, the cards, how to play games, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, hopefully you can watch that after this, but that's basically how you do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, soldier.